this today I'm going to be making a how to on how to make a montage since if you have seen my last one I've definitely improved since my first one since I've used iMovie and I just thought that I would show you guys how to do that so you guys can make your own you know it's not gonna be the best like you know phase or any of that kind of stuff it's just gonna be basic easy how to use After Effects so let's just get started into this so okay so first you're gonna want to Actually, okay, well first, actually, you want to choose a song, so I'm going to pause this and wait till I get a song, and then I'll show you what to do from there. All right, I just threw this out. I already have one up here, so I might as well just use it. So, okay, so first, first you want to do is you just want to drag this in there. So I'll drag it in right to the beginning. Uh, it should start right there, okay. So since it's already right there, my baby, that's my doggy. I... Good girl. Okay, um, okay, so, ah, uh, so lost right now. Um, so now you just pick a clip. Let's just start out with some of this. Now, my computer, I could show you how to do it. It's just my computer right now is, like, it won't do it right now. So, um, you guys will have to find it out yourself. Let's just start out with this. I mean, like, to do 3D lettering, you just get that from someone else because right now I cannot do that. Oh, oh okay, um, I forgot to show you some, uh, comp one, here, uh, just do that settings, go to that, uh, change this to 59, and, uh, change this one to, let's just say 30, because that, what that, what that's going to do is it's going to change um, it's gonna change how long this can be, how long this will be. So this is gonna be 30 seconds each. Unless you have longer, just do like, just do like 10 seconds more than your longest one. But that's what I recommend, just in case like you want to like some slow motion stuff like that. All right, so I got all of that. I'm uh, to start out with uh, this. Now I'm gonna pause this. I'm just gonna start out doing this, but I'm gonna pause it later, so that you can just not do. And I can just you don't want to see the entire thing. It's kind of boring. So first, what you want to do is, you just want to click on this, your uh, music. Then click. Then now I have it, my window in all parallel, so you guys probably do too. So now just hit the RAM preview. Now when you hit RAM preview, it just you'll hear what happens. Okay, so let's just get. That is loud. Okay. Oh yeah, let's change this to wavelength waveform I mean so we can get exact on all right um now what we're going to do is after each beat we're going to want to press control eight what that does is put that puts that right there so it's going to be like a little mile marker to say where you want your shots to be and I'll show you what that means later all right let's just delete that delete this marker all right now we can kind of see where the beats will be on this. So let's just do that. All right, let's just do every every beat that's kind of significant and can you can hear through other beats in your montage, so that you can hear it for later. So yeah, since so just keep on doing this until you. Just do it for each clip, and that's what I recommend, then do it for the next clip. I just do it one clip at a time, so just do that, and uh, yeah, I'll pause this. Wait, I'll just do a few more just to show you, and then I'll pause it. There's one. You can use these to um, uh, go frame by frame. To preview, that's what I do to get exact on. Just do it at the beginning of uh, this one. Just make sure it's like only that being like this. It's gonna actually gonna sort of skip what's what, the, what it sounds like, but when you hit the shot, it will just sound like you like it hit on beat. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause it and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, when I'm done with this. 
All right, guys, I'm on back. So, um, here, I had just, so I'm just gonna split, split this down to where I want it to be, because it's a little bit further than where I want it to be. So, I'm just gonna, because if you ever film too much, just do what I'm doing right here. Just cut this straight. Just see it. Um, just the right place. No, let's put it right there. Right there, okay. Let's put it right there. Um, let's see. Uh, now let's... Now, okay, now next. Next thing you're going to do with your film is you can do time-enabled remapping. And then you're going to go to uh, time-enabled in time. Now go to frame bending right under that. And I'm left-clicking it, by the way. I don't... I actually don't know where to find it in other one. I, I don't know. I'm stupid. Okay, and then click on... Pixel motion, all right? So now, after you do that, just go to like, turns in it. I mean, this is just gonna be like the intro of it, where you do 3D lettering, but my computer right now is just stupid and it won't do for 3D lettering. So, mine's a little bit, just stays in there, because my recorder, it, it kinda has trouble doing this stuff. So let's just start it right there. Now, let's put um, all right. Now we're gonna make this go a little bit faster, and I'll show you how to do that. So yeah, um, just when you find important parts, like just just for the intro so far, I'll do the other clips later or in another video. So you'll just do that. Just hit that little button when you do turns or things like that, or you see something important. All right, now after you do all that, just simply, let's move this one right here, not, just skip the beat. Now just, now other people do this differently. I just put this one right here. Uh, I think other people do it easier, let's see. I think they say to do shift. Okay, yeah, just actually just do shift, it, it works a lot faster. And then, this one is the big ending of it, so just, actually doesn't matter, just put this all the way out here. And then put that one right there. So then, it'll take a little bit to load, I'll pause it so that I don't waste any time of your day. Alright guys, so I'm done loading it, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it so that I can view it from full time. And repeatedly view it. Okay, so now, the, what I did there is I just loaded it. Um, like this, and you just play it, and it, then it loads, and it'll do real time. But see, the problem with mine is I don't know if you guys don't fix this at all, but I do not know how to make it um, view it with music with it in it. So it's only when I finally finally save it at least there's music. So I mean, if you need 3D lettering, my computer won't do it right now. So um, just look it up on YouTube, and then you, it's not too hard. Trust me. Um, okay, now so next, so let's just say that's that's good. I don't, I, I, I can't even tell if the music's gonna be on yet. And then, um, let's see. Uh, next thing I do is okay. Let's just get some film in here. So let's see. Let's just do one that has that person in it. Does this one have that guy in it? No. Uh, I think this one has some. Okay. Just put this right at the end. Now I'm also going to show you how to do transitions. That that 